Destination Shimla, the summer capital of India during the British Raj, and declared so in 1864. It's built on seven hills, and it's like a quilt of houses has been thrown over them. A prominent landmark in Shimla, the neo-Gothic Christchurch overlooks the ridge. The mall itself is adorned with statues of Gandhi and gives nice views. But you certainly meet strange people there. Whenever I walk down this mall, I love it. I really love it, but I, I can just imagine it even a hundred years ago. This is where we found, for the first time on the trip, a good place for coffee. The mall is lined with shops and restaurants and with more than a hint of British colonial architecture and style. It's a great place to observe life in India. Always a very interesting visit. Well, a visit to the Taj Mahal is a must. It takes about five hours by road and five hours back, which is a long day for us, but we're always in a hurry in India, so we have to do it. But it's certainly worth the trip. It's the most visited place in India and built by the Emperor Shah Jahan for his queen. It really is very beautiful and the monument itself is encrusted with gems and absolutely beautiful sight. At the same time I always get frustrated because they don't allow people with video cameras to shoot beyond the entrance place and also we're not allowed to have a tripod. So the camera has to be just rested on the ground or something, which makes it difficult to get good shots. One of the things about the Taj is that the light changes throughout the day, and so it has a different feel to it, from early morning to the evening time, and even sometimes by moonlight it gives another different feel. We actually went to the other side, we wanted to see, uh, see it over the river from the other side to give us a different view. And that was also a, a nice trip. That's the first time I've actually been over to the other side. There's the little boy with his camel for hire. 